<laughs> have you long awaited my my ghost story? <laughs> I I hope you have because I hinted at it in the beginning of this episode. So I hope you listened this far so you can hear it because it's quite interesting. So about a week ago, week ago, week ago. Okay, I need to stop. <laughs> about a week ago, I was in the art building because I had to do an assignment which required me to project a collage from my sketchbook onto a larger piece of paper that was, you know, on a wall. Behind where the handheld projector is, there is an elevator. So I was sitting there working, tracing my collage and whatnot, and the elevator door just randomly opened and no one was there or around me and I was like hey this is weird and so that happened and then um eventually it closed and everything was fine after a while it opened again this time I heard like footsteps and stuff so someone could have came up but I didn't like see anyone out of, like, my peripherals or anything, so I was like, huh, that's weird, and then I turned around, and the door was still open, it stayed open for 30 minutes, 30 minutes, so, okay, the door's open, and I was like, I can't deal with this, because the light from the elevator was directly on where the projector was, so it was hard, really hard for me to trace anything, because of how, ex- how the light like drowned out the details that were being projected from the projector so then I was like huh I need to fix this so I walked over to the elevator and I like hit the button on the inside and tried to jump out really quick so then it would cl- the door would close the door didn't close and it was open for 30 minutes like I said and after that like after I was finished trying to trace the things that I couldn't really see, um, but I managed, I tried to go back down that elevator because it leads out right next to where my dorm is. So it only made sense, right? So I went in there. I tried to press the button to go down. The door closes halfway and then opens back up again. And I'm like, this is weird because... No one is there. Usually that only happens when someone is walking in or out or there's like a limb like in the the door frame, the entrance of the elevator, whatever. So I was like, okay, this is weird. And the elevator still wouldn't go down. And I was like, you know what? I'm mad. So I walked out and I took just took the staircase down that was like across the hall. And then after that, After I got outside of the building, I realized one thing. I forgot my keys. (laughs) So I had to call my roommate. I was like, hey, I did something stupid. (laughs) And so she had to come and open the door for me. But before she got there, someone came out. So then I went in. And then she got there basically as soon as I got into the building. And she was mad at me. But that's besides the point. So... Then after that, I tried to go back up the elevator because of convenience. So it didn't come down. It wasn't working. So then I had to walk through the basement, up the stairs, and then around to the other end to finally retrieve my keys. And then after all that, guess what I did? I went tried to go back down the elevator. <laughs> this time, I managed to get down the elevator. I just had to press like several buttons for it to actually function. And yeah. If it was a ghost, though, they were probably trying to tell me that my keys were still there. So they were nice, which is cool. So, much respect. Um, If it was just a matter of elevator issues, like, okay. But, um, I just found it really strange. Especially when the door, like, closed halfway and opened. I was like, okay. And, side note, when I was sitting there, like, drawing everything... I heard little mice around, and I was like, I heard squeaking, and I'm like, if there's a mice, if there's a mouse, if there's a mouse that comes outside, 
uh, not outside. If there's a mouse that comes out from behind that bookshelf, I will flip my crap. <laughs> I I would be terrified. And honestly, it'd be rough. So that's all I have to say. <laughs>